after a booze-fueled evening in L.A. Conor McGregor's entourage did it. It wasn't Conor McGregor. They referred to the victim as a nightclub bottle service girl. The victim was a waitress. Conor McGregor grabbed her, threw over his shoulder, walked out of a restaurant in front of a room full of people. While investigating a story about Drake and Los Angeles celebrity hotspot, Delilah, former employee, told us a disturbing story that they said took place at the pub slash restaurant involving MMA fighter Conor McGregor and his entourage, his mates. Conor McGregor's dragging, see, he's dragging his mates down the toilet. Two witnesses said a bottle service girl was for a waitress was forced out of the restaurant into a car one night in December 2016. Women have been reporting Conor McGregor's sexual misconduct for years. Two witnesses. There was a room full of witnesses. People, they couldn't believe what they were seeing. Fuck you, Connie McGregor! Came on Ar Ariel Hawani and apologized. That'll get Connie McGregor out of trouble, apologizing to Ariel Hawani. At Judge, Connie McGregor will be standing in front of on October 11 in two days. He gives a shit that Connie McGregor apologized to Ariel Hawani. The man that Conor McGregor punched in the temple and the side of the, punched in the side of the head, that man will stand there and he will point his finger at Conor McGregor and he'll say, that's the son of a bitch that punched me right there. That little pecker wad right there, Conor McGregor punched me. Sucker punched me, he assaulted me, your honor. Fuck you, Conor McGregor! The woman ended up over McGregor's shoulder. She ended up over Connie McGregor's shoulder. Connie McGregor abducted a waitress. He carried her to his SUV and he wasn't he was assaulting her. A second witness said he noticed the group move outside, move outside. He noted look, listen person who wrote this watered down the, the real story. Conor McGregor abducted a waitress he threw over his shoulder in front of a room full of people. He took her to his SUV. She was clawing and scratching to get, it, to get out of the SUV. She was being assaulted. A second witness said he noticed the group move outside move outside and decided to follow thinking something might be wrong gee whiz something might be wrong Conor McGregor abducted a waitress she's kicking and screaming help 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 when he got outside he said he saw the woman in the back of the SUV trying to roll down the window and freaking out that witness said that a manager then came out and threatened to call the police. It's unclear whether any call was made, however. Listen, people in a restaurant, you're sitting in a restaurant, you're eating or whatever. You see a man grab a waitress, throw over his shoulder and start walking out the door with her. She's kicking and screaming. They followed her, they followed him outside. He, he takes her to the SUV, she's kicking and screaming. They start yelling for the manager. The manager runs outside. He runs up to the car. He's baiting on the car. Hey, I'm calling the police because Conor McGregor was, he kidnapped her. He abducted her. When we reached out to McGregor's representative for comment, they put us in touch with fellow MMA fighter Charlie Ward. 
who is a friend of McGregor's and was there that night, he told us. It was he and not McGregor who went out to the SUV with the staffer. With the staffer. Went out to the SUV with the staffer. Charlie Ward didn't say he abducted a waitress. Charlie Ward is covering for Conor McGregor because Conor McGregor is going to prison and this for damn sure will ensure that Conor McGregor receives a life sentence. If Charlie Ward makes this statement to the police, Charlie Ward's asks us and you see, but when it comes down to it, Conor McGregor's friends will not go to prison for him. They'll burn his ass. Both sources at the Lala who witnessed the incident said McGregor was banned from the restaurant afterward. But it seems like the banning wasn't taken too seriously. One of the witnesses said McGregor returned to the restaurant about a month and a half later and left without paying his bill. Fuck you, Connie McGregor! Connie McGregor shouldn't be on the streets. Connie McGregor is a danger to the public. Do you want your sister around Connie McGregor? Do you want your wife, your mother around Connie McGregor? Hell no. Sick piece of garbage. He said they were making out. Charlie Ward claims that him and that waitress had been making out. When a male manager peeked his head into the car and asked if the woman was being held against her will, the manager of the restaurant, his employee, his, the waitress that's serving tables in the restaurant, Conor McGregor grabbed the waitress, put her over his shoulder, abducted her. And Charlie Ward said they were making out. Charlie Ward did it. It wasn't Connor McGregor. Ward said he thought the manager was making a joke. But then he said the manager started yelling and threatening to call the police. He thought it was a joke. The man, there's people standing outside. They say Connor McGregor abduct a, physically abduct a waitress. They seen the waitress inside the SUV, baiting and clawing at the windows. She was freaked out. And the manager runs to the car. He's beating on the damn windows. He's kicking the side of the car, yelling, I'm calling the police. But God, Ward said, the waitress indicated, see now they're slaying waitress. They've been calling her a a whatever bottle service girl. Ward said that the waitress indicated that she was there on her own accord. Right. That's why she was... That's why she was freaked out. That's why she was clawing at the windows. But got out of the vehicle and he didn't see her for the rest of the night. He didn't see her for the rest of the night. Because she, she got out of the vehicle. She was disheveled. Her hair was messed up. Her clothes were torn. And Conor McGregor drove away. There is one key aspect of Ward's story that differs from what sources close to McGregor initially told us about the incident. But they refused to put this account on the record. The police have it on record. That's why the owners of that establishment have no comment. This is being investigated by law enforcement. Both sources at Delilah who witnessed the incident See, they're writing this as, as if two people saw this. Only two people saw this. 
a room full of witnesses who witnessed the incident said McGregor was banned from the restaurant afterward, but it seems like the banning wasn't taken too seriously. One of the witnesses said McGregor returned to the restaurant about a month and a half later and left without paying his bill. The Hwood Group, the company that owns Delilah, refused to comment on the matter. So they refused to comment because this is under investigation. We also reached out to the woman at the center of this story back in March and asked her about the alleged incident. She declined to comment at the time. She was still employed by the company. She refused to decline to comment because this is being investigated by law enforcement. McGregor, arguably the most famous UFC fighter in the world, has been connected to a series of troubling incidents. Incidents the dolly throwing incident, the phone smashing incident, the, the, the pub incident. In March, the New York Times reported that McGregor had been arrested in January after a woman accused him of a sexual assault. He was released without being charged, but Irish police in March said they were still investigating. You're damn right they're investigating. Conor McGregor's going to listen, in, in Ireland, it's true, they drag ass and they but the fucking pen, the penalty for rape in Ireland is life. There is no gray area. There's no 10 years, no 15 years, no 20. It's life. The, the sentence for rape in Ireland is life. UFC President Dana White told reporters in August that McGregor had denied the allegations to him and said that it was someone, somebody else. It's always someone else. Always someone else. 